Hello, today we're going to cover vehicle make and model recognition, also known as VMMR. Vehicle make and model recognition is a recognition network that utilizes deep learning to identify vehicles by their makes or their models. Vehicle make and model recognition complements our license plate recognition, which is used to identify vehicles by their license plate. Vehicle make and model recognition is used by law enforcement agencies, but we've also seen applications in enterprise businesses as well. In the example we're going to cover today, we have a complex scene of 560 objects, but we want to filter down to vehicles we know and associated with a crime. This crime could be an amber alert, maybe there's a silver alert going out, or some other known issue that we want to identify the vehicle, but we don't know the license plate. So in this specific example, maybe we've heard from dispatch or we've heard from the ongoing investigation that we're specifically looking for a Honda. So we can go into our list of vehicle makes here and we can either search for or type in Honda and then filter to all the Hondas in the scene. So we've actually gone from 560 objects down to 48 objects that we're looking at. So if I play the video here, you'll see that we're only identifying the Hondas that have appeared throughout the footage. Maybe more specifically, we've heard that it's not just a Honda we're looking for, but specifically it's a Honda Accord. So I can go back into my filter and go to the models and then either scroll through or type in Accord and we'll click right here and click apply. And now what we've done is gone through 560 vehicles all the way down to eight vehicles. So this helps us dramatically reduce the number of vehicles we have to look at for our investigation and helps us accelerate our investigation. Besides just forensic review, we can also set up alerts around vehicle make and model recognition. So we could have a list of vehicles we know and associated with a crime, or maybe we want to identify vehicles that aren't allowed on a specific type of road. So here we've set up a rule for Chevy Silverados. Maybe Chevy Silverado is associated with a crime, but we don't know the license plate. So setting up this rule, we actually receive an alert every time a Chevy Silverado is identified in a scene. And as you can see here, we have a couple different screenshots of vehicles that were captured throughout a day. So we can see an alert on all the Chevy Silverados that have come into our scenes. Another application is actually using vehicle make and model recognition in combination with license plate recognition. So a use case here could be if you only know a partial plate of a vehicle, but you know what the model could be. This could be because in a crime, someone has swapped the license plate or someone just hasn't been able to capture the full license plate information. So in this specific example, we're looking for a Kia with a plate ending in 01. So instead of just looking for all Kias or looking for all plates ending in a 01, we've used a combination of these recognition filters to be able to identify strictly this Kia that ends in 01. So you can see in this example, we have the alert time, the rule names, the full license plate, and then what watch list this was part of as well. So lastly, I want to look at our research module where we can aggregate vehicle make and model details. And you can see in our pre-built dashboard, we have a dashboard for vehicle details already. So if I open up this dashboard, you can see a list of vehicle details here in the center of the screen. And then over on the left-hand side, we have a list of classes like car, motorcycle, van, et cetera. And I can click in here to see the top makes and models in our scenes. So we have examples like Ford, Renault, Nissan, Alfa Romeo, et cetera. So if I go into this filter here with the top makes and models, I can actually click into one of these. Let's say I click into Lexus and filter out to all the Lexuses. I can see the object identification, start time, end time, how long they were in the scene for, the associated license plates, makes, models, color, and even the speed of the vehicle. So this can be a way to visualize the data of a scene, understanding what vehicles were in it by their makes and models, the associated license plates, and even how fast they were driving. So in case you were interested in what vehicles were speeding or what types of vehicles are speeding, or just wanted an aggregated report of associated makes and license plates, this is a detailed dashboard that can give that to you.